ready to award. I can see it. This sounds a little bit weird, but when I'm actually like taking you guys with me, I don't really feel like I'm alone because I always imagine like talking to you. Aww. Now I kind of wish that there was someone with me. And this is another installation made during lockdown by a French designer. We're gonna eyeball it. We're gonna eyeball the whole freaking recipe, but let's do this. Hi guys, it's your curious and awkward friend, Fussy. I'm super happy and grateful to see you here. In today's video, I actually just want to show you what is a typical day in my life. We're not gonna do anything fancy. There's gonna be a lot of cooking. Oh no, I lied to you. There's gonna be something more special. We're going to the London Design Festival and more specifically in King's Cross Design District. And today is actually Sunday and you know what this means. Pancakes time! And if you have seen my previous videos, you already know that I usually start my day by doing some yoga and I try to look cool, but at the same time I just get distracted and say hi to the camera. So I had breakfast, I had a shower and now I'm actually checking my emails. Well, actually these are not my emails. I'm checking uh, a recipe for crepe because I'm actually thinking maybe I want to have them savory instead of sweet just because it's like almost lunch time and yeah i just don't feel like having something sweet again i'm actually starting to make my pancakes but guys like i'm gonna show you some parts but definitely don't take this like as a cooking tutorial because it's not don't ask me about proportions or ingredients because i have no freaking clue but this is the mixture and we'll start making a whole bunch of pancakes and here is our first pancake and what time is it Pancakes time! Pancakes time! Pancakes time! Yay! Pancakes! Guys, if you want to see more of the pancake dance or anything else awkward, don't forget to subscribe. So this is the first pancake you made, so let's you know that's the last. And I'm gonna have it with like some peanut butter, with a banana, and some sugar-free syrup, zero sugar maple, low calorie. You, you know, it really reminds me Oh, like, it smells like, you know, like my sister's vape. But also look at it, it's so big. My giveaway has officially ended and today is the time to pick a winner. And honestly, I'm so, so excited about it. I feel like I've been more excited than you this whole time. So let's pick this winner. And I want to actually do this with you. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed for all of you, even though I know I know it's not really possible, but ready to award. I can see it. And guys, I actually just realized that I'm not authorized to say the name of the person without it his or her consent and uh, i will be emailing her now i will be keeping it a secret and uh, if they give me the permission to i'm gonna tell you the name and also ask him or her to send us a video of uh, like receiving the giveaway and just show you that i actually send this to you and a little update from me so it's already the afternoon and now I will be actually going to the London Design Festival and more specifically I'm going to the Design District and I'm going on my own because it's like one of those days when I just need to be alone I don't know if you also have them but this sounds a little bit weird but when I'm actually like taking you guys with me I don't really feel like I'm alone because I always imagine like talking to you Aww. yeah it's super sunny and it really feels like it's still summer in London and guys, let me know in the comments down below what are you doing this weekend? And I just arrived at King's Cross and now I have to see where exactly is the design festival. And here it is. And actually I just read that these trees are used to point us to where should we go. King's Cross is actually one of the newest creative quarters and also retail destinations and this is the second time that it will be a design district. And something which I really like is that all the artworks that you see here are made from students from the Barlett School of Architecture. And this is actually a super famous ice cream truck that I always see in front of St. James Park. 
and I actually used to work in this area I started working here in 2019 and it was like so empty literally almost everything was under construction and I saw it like being built all the time but do you know what is the main reason on why they're investing so much in this area it's because because of Google well here is the office of Google like literally all this that you see I mean I didn't work at Google that's definitely not what I meant when actually in case you didn't know I'm working in the fashion industry so yeah I was working in like small fashion brand there are more of those uh, digital work I don't know why do I say digital when they're like literally in front of me and what I actually like about this area is that there is just a lot more space than like in central London and it's still like a lot more modern oh my god this is so ideal just look at them everyone is like just sitting next to the canal and yeah having a beer you know i just told you that sometimes i really enjoy having some time alone so i don't know i can be with my thoughts or in this case just be with you guys but now i kind of wish that there was someone with me and as i told you those trees actually show you the direction on where should you go and this is Planted, which is the first contemporary design show that it's trying to reconnect cities with nature. These are some of their projects. And if you are around in the area at another time, you can still find so many places to eat and things to do. And I don't know, is it actually common to let kids just run around naked around the fountains? I find it just adorable. You just around in the flowers. I swear, this was my dream to be so wild and around when i was little and to be honest with you the first time that i heard about design festival in london it really reminded me of the design week in milan kind of expected something similar because the concept is practically the same that everyone who is working in like art and design related can present their work to the public and they're usually like lots of events and this installation in the sky is called pattern per trace and it's actually made from students during lockdown and they were based basically asked to combine uh, patterns from their own clothing to create abstract forms and of course sustainability was at the heart of the project. And this is another installation made during lockdown by a French designer and I actually really like this installation because basically the main purpose and message that it's trying to tell us is that we should all stay together and support each other. Oh and guys, I also got for free this book which basically explains you all the things that come in the festival and what can you see and I'm loving it. Look at it, it's so big. And everything that you see in this shop is actually made from design students. One of the main reasons why do I like it so much is because it feels like they're integrating art and culture into like our daily life and they expose us to like so many interesting things. The concept this year is really based around sustainability so oh there is also this which I guess it's part of it. It's kind of cute I just have to understand what it is exactly. I'm pretty sure I missed a protest or something today because <laughs> look what's going on here i came back i had a super nice afternoon and walk and all of a sudden i see here that ben has made fresh made bread yeah! Hi, everybody. so this is like we got a new cooker you know and it came with a new oven of course and like for like i sent like to our landlord you know a picture of like how i usually make bread you know in italy and how you know the bread i make here you know and it was like really like this would be this should be the good one you know how i used to make it and this is what happened you know with the cooker here uh fortunately we got you know like a new one you know it got replaced and like this is like what it looks like you know i got other two of these in the oven and we're gonna have them today right with, with like salmon with salmon scent so since ben made the bread now i'm gonna make like salmon burgers but the problem is that i saw this recipe maybe on tiktok and of course i didn't save it and disappeared and i remember kind of the ingredients but of course i don't have like the proportions or i might miss something so we're gonna we're gonna eyeball it we're gonna eyeball the whole freaking recipe but <laughs> let's do this now i have cut the salmon and and now i will be adding the oats and let's see how is this gonna work and i also added like lemon garlic salt pe salt pepper and like some other spices that i randomly found and here are the two burgers you can kind 
kind of see those here, but I think they're actually quite nice. It doesn't really look like a salmon burger, but <laughs> here it is. It's quite cute. Cheers! I mean, with wine, it's always better. That and for more. How am I supposed to eat that? I think it's because of the bread. No, I'm worried. The, the, the burger is like this thick. Thank you so much guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more awkward and curious things. And of course for travel related content. Love you loads. Bye. Bye.